What's going on, Power Pups and wrestling fans? Welcome back to the Undercard. This is my simulated wrestling show where the CPU fights it out and we watch. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're here for the ride. And if you're watching this and you've been watching it, I gotta thank you for uh, lasting this long into the season. This is Season 5, Episode 10, Adamant. Adamant is when somebody is undeterred. They will not change their mind, and they will continue no matter what. With uh, either a choice or a decision or a lifestyle, whatever it may be. And uh, that title will make sense when I get into the main event, which I have to explain a little bit. But first off, I just want to say that if you have been watching this and you care a lot about the ranking system, don't worry too much about it, okay? It's in the background. I know it's not really shown on stream, like the, the records and stuff aren't super visible. Um, but the matches make sense based on the rankings, and you just gotta trust me. I know how to book a show, because today's card is The Nation of Domination, Mark Henry and Farouk versus LUG, Angelico, and Matt Cross. We've got singles action between tag team superstars. That's right, HBK, Shawn Michaels, faces off against half of the tag team champions, Team Halloween, Leatherface. A couple of Texas boys are going to go at it right here today. Then we've got Captain Planet versus Pac. Then we've got China versus Vicky Guerrero. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Umaga. Supergirl versus Jade for the number. I believe that's a number one contender match for the women's championship. And then our main event is Jason Jordan versus Kratos. And if you've been paying attention, you know Jason Jordan doesn't have a single victory this season. I don't even think he has one point in the ranking system. So, he is adamant to stay hired on our roster. I made a deal with Jason Jordan. This is a feast or fired match. The winner of this match gets a title shot next week against Iron Man, no matter what. Whoever wins gets the title shot. If Jason Jordan doesn't win this match, He's going to be fired live on the stream after the match. I will fire him. I will release him. He won't be the first person fired. It's happened before. We've had this match situation before where somebody got past the halfway point. They got to episode 10 without a victory. If you get to episode 10 and you don't have at least one victory, there is zero chance that you are going to become the undercard champion. He's in the singles heavyweight division, which means he's going for the undercard championship, which means he has to win five matches in a row. And the rankings stop at episode 14, and the show goes 16 episodes. So uh, it's just not possible at this point. So he has to win that match, and then he'll get his title shot against Iron Man. It's fair. It's balanced. It's the only way to do it. And we're going to get right into the action. Let's go. Let's go. The undercard is now officially live. Opening up the card with some tag team action. Team Nation, the Nation of Dam Domination versus LUG. LUG's been pretty unsuccessful. I don't even think they have a point either. They might have to get fired after this match. I mean, come on. It's wild how uh, we've seen teams that have been so successful before fight in this season and just not get a victory. It's like, is the competition really that stiff? At this point, I believe it is. There's a nice arm drag by Angelico. 
half of LUG Lucha Underground. They got the speed, they got the agility, they have all the talent in the world, they just haven't been able to find success together. And uh, Mark Henry and Farouk, Nation of Domination, are not going to make it easy for these guys. He's dragging them across the ring, going to make a tag to Matt Cross. Here we go, a.k.a. Son of Havoc. This masked man knows what he's doing inside of these ropes. And he missed the wheel kick there. Wildly tagged to Farouk. Now legal with the small package, but not even a one count. The referee was looking for uh, to be in position for that cover, but nothing there. Just a slap to the chest and a big scoop slam out of the ring he goes. Farouk's going to chase one. him down, but Son of Havoc back into the ring. Matt Cross with the slap. And Farouk getting kneed right in the gut. Matt Cross drives the knees into the canvas, kicking each other going for each other's throats. Scoop slam outside of the ring again. Nine. Same thing we saw before. A little bit of cat and mouse. That was smart by uh, Matt Cross to roll back into the ring, though. You don't want to be on the outside. A lot of extra damage is dealt out there, especially against a powerful guy like Farouk. You want to talk about power? Here's the world's strongest man. Mark Henry Nine. just tossed him out of the ring. And again, rolls back in. Matt Cross... The more damage he takes, the harder it is to roll back into the ring. Nice super kick there. Camera's freaking out. Tagged to his partner. Rolled right into a chop by Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. Striking back at Angelico. We got a strike exchange right here and lands the final blow with the kick. Stomping on the back of the knee. Rolling him over. Oh, Two. big knee Five to the chest. Gone. Mark Henry's got to feel that one. Five minutes gone in this match. Aroshi Garoshi. Oh my goodness. A whirling neck breaker onto the knee. One, two, and only a two count there as LUG looking for their first victory in the season. They need it now, or they're never gonna get it. Ain't never gonna get it. You ain't never gonna get it. Throws Farouk out of the ring. Takes a second for the breather. Gotta recover some of that stamina. Nice sweep of the leg. Sweep the leg, Danielson. Oh, and he does it again. Tripping up Farouk, taking out the leg of the big man. Size advantage, obviously, for Nation of Domination as they just, ch as Farouk is chasing Angelico. Suplex there by Angelico. And Helico tag to Matt Cross and gets punched. Wait a minute, he's fighting back here. An even battle, but Farouk gets the final blow. Punching him right in that mask. Look at this. Do you give up? You could tap out to those strikes. Farouk's got a lot of power. Got some big muscles, and here comes Mark Henry. Nation of Domination have had a title shot before, but obviously they were unsuccessful because our current champions, Team Halloween, are undefeated this season and they were undefeated last season can anyone beat michael myers and leatherface we don't know we actually don't know you're gonna have to stay tuned to the show to find out i mean it's it won't happen this episode but maybe next week we'll see a title match going for a clothesline angelico steps out of the way and lands a couple of kicks that's what he needed to do using the speed to his advantage to evade the damage and look at this couple more kicks again to the midsection of Farouk. He's in the corner of Nation of Domination, though. Bad positioning for Angelico. Wait a minute. Off the ropes. Nice rebound move and a cover with a two and just a two. It's going to stay at a two as Farouk powered out. Wait a minute again. Hiroshi Hiroshi. Oh my, that move is very effective, and Angelico's waiting on the top rope, diving clothesline, takes down his opponent, picking him back up, sweeping the leg, Angelico's looking good here, and Farouk has to fight out of it, Fireman's carry makes the tag, Mark Henry whips him against the ropes, and lands the back elbow, classic wrestling with the back elbow. Mark Henry's not going to do anything fancy, obviously. I just kicked him right in the ear. Right in the earlobe. Check your hearing. Tag to Matt Cross. L-U-G. 
needs a win right Finish. here. Oh my gosh! The shooting star onto the back of Mark Henry. The finishing move. One, two, and oh no, Mark Henry too strong. The world's strongest slam! Finisher right back to him. Stomped on him for good measure. Referee Charles Robinson was going for two, but Son of Havoc, aka Matt Cross, kicks out. Wow. An elbow to the back. Rolled him over. He's groggy. He's in big trouble. Ducks the clothesline. Saved his own skin there. Matt Cross getting the fans into it. Cheering for the crowd. Making a tag to Angelico. I like that. I like that he took a second. And Angelico spinning around, rolling around. Gets caught by the double arm suplex. Mark Henry now dragging the carcass of Angelico. Hooks the leg. One. Not enough damage there to be done. The match is not over. Tag to Farouk, Nation of Domination, working together against Angelico, but Angelico fights out of it with a bulldog. Nice escape, nice counter. It has to get away from that corner. Oh, here comes that running knee again, this time to Farouk. 13 and a half minutes gone in this opening contest suplex. Tag team action underway. Whoa, the undercard show is, is really about, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one competition. But, of course, we have a tag team division and a roll-up. But the ropes were there for Farouk. Elbow to the back, knocks him down. He's groggy and a flying knee to the back of the head. Huge move by Angelico. Will that be their first victory? And it almost was. But a heartbeat away as Farouk kicks out at the last half second. Tag to Mark Henry. Tag to Matt Cross with an STO takedown. Hooking the leg. And wow, natural selection. Flipping over and gets caught by the double arm suplex. A nation of domination. Oh, wait a minute. Tripped up. Oh, tilt the world. DDT takes down Mark Henry. Matt Cross, a little bit dizzy from that. It took something out of him, but he had to do it. And that's what it is. It's all about that desperation move that can change the pace of the match. And a body splash. One, two. Can he kick out? No, barely. He barely did. He barely did. And Angelico with a poison Rana going up top. Yeah. What's it going to be? Double stop to the back. Mark Henry's taking a lot of damage here in the corner. But we go to the other side of the ring. Farouk watches on. Gets the tag. Farouk is now the legal man chasing Angelico. Oh, what's it gonna be? Fall of the Angel! Crucifix! Powerbomb! Angelico with his finisher. Not done yet, though! No flying knee to the face! Hooking the leg, looking for a submission victory. He'll take a win any way he can right now. He's got that leg hooked, but Farouk fought out of it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, going for it again! Follow the angels! The crucifix powerbomb, but why doesn't he go for the cover there? Poison, wait, no, 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 just a regular hurricanrana hooked the leg, but the ropes were there. Farouk in a good position, Angelico in a bad situation. Kicks, punches, no, 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 high kick to the face of Farouk. He's got to create distance away from these ropes, though. He's got to get away from the corner of Nation of Domination as well. Hooks the leg. That might be the opportunity he needs. And he did it. L-U-G. Finally. Get a big win. And they needed it now. And they, they did it. L-U-G. Angelico. Matt Cross. Now officially on the board. It took them to episode 10 to get it. But the level of competition here is just so steep. 
I I want to act surprised, but it, it is really tough to be surprised. Next up, we've got HBK Shawn Michaels versus one half of our tag team champions, Leatherface. Now, we're having this match because uh, there is a rule that every person on the roster must have at least one singles match. Uh, so if it's for a tag team, if they're like wrestling in the tag team division, this will count as a point for that team. And being a defending champion, Leatherface really doesn't need to get this victory, but uh, if he does get it, it's going to be even harder to get rid of Team Halloween as they will have an automatic comeback, an automatic uh, rematch clause if they ever do lose those titles. And that that's really important, too. Ring the damn bell. Let's go. Both of these guys from Texas. John Michaels put San Antonio on the map. And Leatherface usually in a tag team alone here. And a roll up early on. Michaels looking for a steal. Didn't get it there. Nice combo by Leatherface. Takes down the smaller guy. Leatherface with the size, the strength. And uh, we know how dangerous Leatherface's finishing move is. That massacre that he does. The powerbomb knocked out One. Jerry Lynn before. And we, we saw last week as uh, these yeah. teams, D-Generation X and Team Halloween, collided in a tag team title match. And obviously Team Halloween uh, held on to the belts. But D-Generation X had some issues outside of the ring where uh, they were trying to perform the finisher, but it was a little bit glitchy, so maybe the gameplay was not in their favor and that they are asking for a rematch. I said, you know what? If Shawn Michaels can beat Leatherface here right now, then uh, D-Generation X will get another title shot next week against Team Halloween. I think that's pretty fair. Table, uh, there's a piece of the table in play. A nice roll up there by Shawn Michaels. Backslide onto the wood. Not even a one count though. He keeps trying to get these fast counts on Leatherface. I don't know if you're going to catch this guy <laughs> off guard. Sharpshooter, the most controversial move in Shawn Michaels' arsenal. One half of D-Generation X. And Leatherface slamming him down to the mat. The strength, the power of this serial killer. Texas Cloverleaf there by the killer. He's wearing somebody's skin right now. This guy's a complete psycho and a senton from the top. Not sure how much he got out of that, but he's going for the cover. One, two, and the legendary endurance of Shawn Michaels pays off as he kicked out there. Hip toss. One of the greatest performers of all time. Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels now kicking, scratching, clawing his way through this match. Shoulder, neck breaker. Traps the arm. Got to slow down the pace. Slow down Leatherface. He's already slow. Why not Five slow him down gone. even more? And just get punched down. Leatherface already covered in blood from one of his victims. This guy is crazy and he doesn't care. If he doesn't care about your well-being, I don't think he cares about his own. Shawn Michaels with an elbow to the back and another attempt at a roll-up and still not even a one count. Yeah. I think Michaels has to land a couple of moves before he starts going one, for these quick pins. Two. Leatherface in and out of the one. ring, swinging with that piece of wood and he's going for the massacre! Oh! Saved his life there! Shawn Michaels could have been knocked out and now after the counter, he's got the figure four locked in. And Leatherface just barely squeaked out of that submission hold. The figure four. You learned that from his friend Ric Flair. Clothesline. Everything's canon here in the undercard. Nice elbow. Leatherface chasing Shawn Michaels through the corn maze right now. Couple of stomps to the back and a splash for good measure. Kicking the leg. He's looking for that massacre. Oh, and he hit it! That's gotta be it! It's the most devastating move! Oh, and Shawn Michaels barely got a shoulder up. 
That has broken people's necks. That knocked out Jerry Lynn. That move is so devastating. It's like a powerbomb, but you land directly on your neck, and the flying press almost got the victory for Leatherface as well. Elbow. Knocking down Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is in a world of trouble. Leatherface with the Texas horns, the taunt, but the kick out. Shawn Michaels ain't done yet. Enziguri, kick to the side of the head. Right in that leather face of leather face. He's got the ankle off. Leather face has never tapped out. He's never even been pinned. This guy's undefeated for two seasons because Team Halloween is just that damn unbeatable. We don't know what it takes to defeat these serial killers. He's got some, like, otherworldly strength. We know Mike. Oh, spear! We know Michael Myers can like survive gunshots and stab wounds. And there's Weatherface with a scythe. Where the hell did he pull that out? He had that hidden in his pocket. Shawn Michaels with a desperation suplex. Now off of the ropes, lands an elbow to the face. Throws him into the ropes, catches him with the DDT. The Texas. Boys are going to war. John Michaels getting hit by the Alabama Slammer. Texas Club Relief locked in. Will Michaels tap out? The ropes are right there. He can't reach the ropes. Can he escape though? And he does. He does get out of that submission. It was looking cloudy. And there's the torture rack from the killer. Leatherface has the torture lock. The torture rack locked in. And he just lands right onto the knee. Turned it into a backbreaker because Shawn Michaels refused to tap out. Wait a minute, what's this going to be? All the way to the top. Super Duper Plex! Shawn Michaels with a huge move going for the sweet. Yes. Ten, music hit it! Count one, two, two three. and it's over! Shawn Michaels has done the impossible! The boyhood dream has come true. Sweet Chin Music. He tuned up the band and he kicked Leatherface right in the chin. That's huge. That's the first time we've seen somebody pin Leatherface and D-Generation X will automatically get a title shot next week. Triple H has to be backstage ecstatic about that one. Huge. Huge, huge, uh, probably the biggest victory of the season so far, I would say. Some could argue, but I, I don't know what your argument would be. Next up, we've got Captain Planet versus Pac. Both of these guys really high up in the rankings. I think uh, three points apiece. We've seen Captain Planet actually had a title shot before, uh, but was unsuccessful against Iron Man. And Pac has also had a title match against Brock Lesnar when Brock Lesnar was the champion at the beginning of the season. Actually, I think that was our first main event was Pac versus Brock Lesnar because Pac was drafted number one randomly. So he got a title shot first. Here we go. Captain Planet versus the Bastard Pac. And Captain Planet is all about doing good. And Pac is not good. Look at the speed. They're going really quick here. Into the corner. Kicked out of it. Captain Planet lands a chop to the chest and an arm breaker there. Over the shoulder. Trying to kick at Pac. Off the ropes. Back body drop. This match feels like it's happening at 800 speed. <laughs> it might be. Yeah! Drop kick. Misses the uh, tornado chop there. The referee running all around the ring. Pac lands an elbow. Snapmare. Strike by Captain Planet. 
Captain Planet always does something new, something unexpected. Every time he's in this ring, we don't know what we're going to see from Captain Planet. From behind, and a huge German suplex into a knee to the face. Wow, what a combo there by Captain Planet. A lot of damage being done early on. Backbreaker. Hawk felt that one. Oh, and a drop kick to the back of the head. The bastard doesn't like it. Captain Planet, he's focused here. He knows that he could get a title shot. Maybe if he wins this match, he could get some sense of uh, pride here. Pac went for a clothesline. Captain Planet looked like he moved out of the way. Off the ropes. Spin kick. But got caught again by a backbreaker. Fist drop to the back. Right between the shoulder blades. He's focusing on the back of Pac. It's a good strategy for Captain Planet. Five minutes gone. It's very hard to wrestle with an injured back. We know that for a fact. And Pac with a takedown. But he didn't recover in time. And Captain Planet takes advantage. Forearm to the face and a couple of punches for good measure. Look at this. Oh, fire bomb! He's got the power of fire. And the speed of lightning as the reversal and the kick. The Pac not fast enough on recovery. Taking a lot out of him. Hurakarana. His first big move of the match. Kicks. He kicked Captain Planet, and Captain Planet with an Olympic Slam. We've seen that from him before, because it's very effective, and he uses the power of wind to lift you off your feet. Captain Planet is all the Planeteers putting their rings together with the, the power of wind, water, earth, love, whatever the hell. Olympic Slam! Pac might be done! No! Kick out. The bastard still in this match. Heart punch. Power of the heart. And his moveset is his gimmick, I guess. It makes sense. Fist drop. That time to the face of the bastard. And Pac. Trapped here by Captain Planet. Has to escape the submission. Pac has all the tools it takes to be a great performer all the tools it takes to be a champion but has yet to do it here in the undercard this is season five episode 10 adamant and Pac is adamant to win this match right now power bomb sitting getting the cover but only two captain planet flexing on him Haunting. The fan, a fan favorite if you ever saw one, but Pac doesn't care what the fans think. He doesn't care if you like him. He, you gotta respect the guy, though. Oh, super kick. And there he goes. Feeling himself here, but got caught by a huge uppercut. Captain Planet was in the right place at the right time. Trapping him again. Stepping on the back of that leg. Refusing to let go. Forcing Pac to attack. European uppercuts by the bastard. And chops by the superhero. Hook of the leg. One, two, and no. Captain Planet got the shoulder up. Olympic slam. Huge signature move. And Captain Planet is a little bit tired. Unable to go for a cover there. And Pac now has a chance to turn this one around. European uppercut takes him down. He's got the uh, aerial abilities. Oh, what is going on? Wow, what a move there. Pac has submission skills. He's got aerial abilities. He's got dangerous moves in his arsenal. And there was one. He just German suplex Captain Planet out of the damn arena. But Captain Planet's got a bat. Waits till the five count. One. Gotta let go of that bat. That's not legal. This is just a singles match. There is disqualification. Suplex. Hook of the leg. And no. 
Captain Planet powered out of that. Brand into the soul bot. German suplex! One, two, three. Look at the arch of the back and Pac just beat Captain Planet. I think he landed on that wooden bat as well. That might have added to the damage of the move. Pac is now at four points. That puts him uh, pretty high up in the ranking. He could face Iron Man very soon. Next up, we've got China versus Vicky Guerrero, who, believe it or not, are both uh, they're both at two points this season. So the winner of this match will get their third point and could be looking towards uh, the women's championship, which is still being held by Chris Cyborg. So if you're keeping count, Chris Cyborg's been undefeated for two seasons. Uh, but today, we saw Leatherface get beaten, so... I mean, Chris Cyborg might want to pay attention to what's happening, because... Nobody remains undefeated forever. All streaks must end. In Season 1 and 2, Andre the Giant was undefeated, and then got beaten by Kiryu, who's actually competing this season as well because season five is all about bringing former Fight. competitors back to wrestle each other and a takedown there ran into the shoulder vicky guerrero uh at a little bit of a disadvantage here usually she's the larger woman in the match but not this time china of course a wonderful woman and look at this the military press slam oh my goodness China's powerful enough to lift up Vicky Guerrero and just slam her down there with a gut One, buster. Two. And she's choking her out. Two count on the choke. Don't want to get disqualified. She's going to let go again. Two. Watch this. She's got five seconds to hang on to that choke. I think she needs to take advantage of the full five seconds here. Great to have some women representation here on the show. I think that's a tradition that should continue. One, two. Stomping on the chest, only a two count. DDT. Vicky Guerrero wobbly. Got taken down by the Lariat. Off the ropes and another big move there by China with the Bulldog. Vicky Guerrero in trouble here as this is all china so showing off her entire moveset power slam waiting waiting oh huge elbow from the corner china hit it right on the mark takes her down taunts on her take down clothesline picks her back up final power bomb china with her finisher oh my god vicky guerrero is in deep water and she's sinking lands a, a scoop slam at least she did something in this match wait a minute counter by vicky kick to the side and vicky oh, guerrero escaping scooping her down again but gets caught by the neck breaker back and forth action that might be enough damage nope two and a half ddt by china going for that running elbow again and she got it Oh, misses wildly. Big mistake by Vicky Guerrero. Ran into another clothesline. Drop kick to the knee. Going down low. Look at the strength on that suplex. Just lifted her up like it was nothing. China so, so strong. We see it week in and week out. And it's just such an amazing sight to see. Former bodybuilder. Those muscles aren't just for show. But Vicky Guerrero... He's going to keep fighting. One, two, until it's over. Picks her back up from behind. Counter. Backdrop. Vicky Guerrero with a huge move. That could shift the entire momentum of this match here. Has to take a couple seconds to breathe in. Got to remember to breathe. DDT lands on top of the head. Vicky Guerrero's taking a lot of punishment. Shoulder. The Histral pin. And it's over. 
Just too much complete dominance by China. I think Vicky Guerrero hit like two or three moves. And China now with three points back to where she was. We even saw her finisher in that match. So, really important uh, to remember that you don't have to win off of a finisher. You can win any way you need to. Pin, fall, submission. You could uh, make somebody cry. <laughs> Next up, we've got Shinsuke Nakamura versus Umaga, the king of strong style, meets face to face with the Samoan bulldozer. This is a battle we never saw, we never thought we would see, but the undercard always delivers with some of these fantastic. Uh, fantasy matchup. This this is the, the type of matchup you can only see right here on the undercard. There's a lot of stories to tell and a lot to talk about. But I think we should just focus on this match right here. Fight. Starting off slow. Hits an Enziguri. Shinsuke Nakamura knows how serious he has to take this match right now. Umaga and Shinsuke both tied at two points apiece. Looking for that big number three at five points. You get an automatic title shot. And a kick to the side of the face. Those deadly feet of Nakamura he uses as weapons. But Umaga has a couple of weapons of his own. Wait a minute, slips out of a big move there. Little bit too slippery. Maybe put on some extra body oil today. Elbow to the back of the head. Followed up by a pair of knees. And Shinsuke again escaping what could have been a problematic situation there. Umaga may be looking for a uh, power slam or, or a Oklahoma slam. Umaga trying to get a hold of Nakamura. Got him in a guillotine, turned it into a DDT. First big move by Umaga. The Samoan Bulldogs are usually very aggressive after the start of the bell, but a little bit slow here. Lands the thrust kick, didn't get all of it. He to the gut, trying to chop him down. Nakamura too fat. Whoa, misses the wheel kick. Elbow caught him. You make a mistake and you get punished for it. And Samoan headbutt Ura. by Umaga. Host. Just got hit in the face and kicked in the butt. And that's just going to piss him off. Slaps him. Tries to grab him from behind. Wheel kick finally hits it this time. They're going to strike it out. I can't believe what we're seeing right here. Nakamura takes down Umaga. Don't want to be in a corner situation. Small package, one. Umaga. Not going to be defeated that easily. This is a big, big boy right here. Thank you for the resub. We're in the middle of a match. Kinshasa! Finisher by Shinsuke Nakamura. But it's not finished as Umaga just kicked out of the big move. Uppercut, that throat thrust, missed, oh, and he kicked him right between the groins, right between the loins, right between the cheeks, on the shoulder, yeah! Samurai Driver, one, two, and Umaga's not done yet, kicked out of the finisher, kicked out of a big signature move, what else is Nakamura going to have to do to get the victory here, it's only been five minutes, six minutes into this match, and it's all Shinsuke right now. It's just another dominant performance right here. Oh! Olympic slam. Umaga's got to recover. Good. Good move. Good strategy by the Samoan bulldozer. He's just a machine. He's usually all offense, but he had to uh, recover there. Had to take a moment. To heal... 
to breathe. And another Gord Buster there by Nakamura. Into the corner! Kinshasa! And he hit it! One, two, and a kick out by Umaga, the Samoan bulldozer. Still alive. STF walked in. Submission. Will Nakamura tap out after all the effort he's put into this match? This would not be done, Samoan Spike! The thumb to the throat! Oh man, we got a match on our hands right here! Holy shit! Just picked him up by his skull and slammed him down. Hit him with a rump, Rikishi style. The Samoan bloodline blowing. Umaga again with this iron claw slam. Nakamura injured. He was doing so well, but all it takes for Umaga is like one or two moves to just take all the wind out of you. Diving from the top, hit him with the knee. Is that going to be all she wrote? Charles Robinson counts to three and Nakamura finally pulls it off. Big three point. And a three count as well. He deserved it. He hit all his big moves. And then somewhere along the way he got hit back. But he survived. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much for the resub. I, I really, really, really appreciate it. It's just hard to, like, not focus. I gotta focus on the matches, so I don't want to make you feel like I'm not thanking you, but it, it I did see it, so. Um, thank you, again. All the support is really meaningful. Next up, we've got number one contender for the women's championship. It's Supergirl versus Jade. I think this is the first time these two have ever uh, been in a ring together. We've got a DC superhero versus a Mortal Kombat character. They, they technically live in the same universe. They've just never faced off. Because Jade was not in Injustice. And Supergirl was not in MK versus DC. So you can only see this match right here, right now. And the winner will face Chris Cyborg for the Women's Championship Fight. next week. Two. Goes Two. for the low kick right off of the bell. Supergirl always oh. using that big vertibomb over and over until she gets the win. That's been her strategy this season. And... It has worked, but you gotta have that move scouted. If you keep doing the same move over and over, eventually somebody's gonna counter it and it, you're gonna be in trouble. So you just gotta be aware of that as well. Headlock punches by Jade. Jade had a title shot earlier this season and got knocked out. She got punched in the back of the head by our champion, Chris Cyborg. And Supergirl is a former women's champion in season four she was a champion and she's fought chris cyborg before but it was uh in season four not in season five so there, there's a lot of uh rematch potential either way i know our champion know, knows these contenders very well inside and out oh nice counter there off of the rope. Supergirl just tosses her over. Puts her in position for the drop kick, lands it. Against the ropes now. Away from the ropes now. Double stomp. Two. Elbow. Fist. Who's gonna win this exchange? 
Supergirl did. But it took something out of her. Two. Putting all of her super strength but behind each one of those blows and a kick by Jade. Jade with those attacks, those quick kicks. Got a submission locked in! Cross face type maneuver! Referee's asking Supergirl if she wants to tap out way too early in the match for a submission victory, I think. And uh, awkward corner positioning for Jade. Getting elbowed. Supergirl from behind hits the lariat. And just got slapped right in the cheek! Five minutes gone. Sleeper drop. Five minutes gone in this match. This, this is a number one contendership. We have to have a winner here. Jade just getting tossed over. Both women slow to recover. But that's okay. The match continues. Couple of punches. Mood salt! Felt like she was in the air forever! Supergirl with the power of flight using it. And here comes that vertebomb I talked about! It's away from the ropes, but what the hell? Not even yeah. a one count! Lightning speed! Here comes the finisher by Jade! She got it! One, two! Oh! Holy cow! Yeah. What the hell just happened? She's hitting it again! Back-to-back -back finishers by Jade! The lightning speed move! And no, that's not gonna be it! Wow! I, I don't even know what just happened! Combo by Jade! Ah. Drop kick to the back of the head. Knees landing on the spine. Jawbreaker, got her stunned. Two. Taking advantage. Couple more kicks, and Jade looking really good here. Ah. What a performance right now. This, this is incredible from Jade. She wants that title shot. She thinks she no. earns it. Oh, and a huge brain buster by Supergirl. Rope break. Pulling her by the hair. Jawbreaker got her stunned from behind. What the hell was that? Rolling up into a super kick. Just standing over her. She's saying, this is my time right now. This is my opportunity and it's not going to be squandered yeah. by the likes of you, Supergirl. Yeah. Oh, hit by the lightning speed. She didn't even run against the ropes and it's over. She didn't even take the time to run off the ropes. Wow. Modified the finisher. And it worked. Jade will face Chris Cyborg next week. We already know that uh, D-Generation X versus Team Halloween will happen next week. And I think next up we got to find out who will face Iron Man next week for that undercard championship? Is it going to be Jason Jordan with his last hope? Or will it be Kratos who has worked so hard to get to this point? Jason Jordan doesn't have a single point in the rankings. This is the adamant match. This is all or nothing for Jason Jordan. If he does not win he will be fired live and if Kratos wins it's just another victory for him if Kratos loses he's still got like three points in the season he, he's not in bad shape if Jason Jordan loses he's going home without a paycheck feast or fired all or nothing literally for Jason Jordan and it's it's not like he's facing any ordinary person he's facing the god of war Kratos in our main event right here hip toss for Jason Jordan strikes early Jason Jordan his career is literally on the line scoop slam by Kratos elbow Jason Jordan has to be focused 
What did your daddy teach you? We're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm glad that meme will never die. There was a stu if anyone doesn't follow wrestling, there was this stupid storyline where uh, Jason Jordan is supposed to be Kurt Angle's son. I don't know. Figure it out. It doesn't make any sense for so many reasons. <laughs> Maybe he's adopted. That would have made some sense if they said that, but... Oh, low blow! Kratos not gonna play fair. He doesn't care. Why would he? Boy. Kratos a father. And a hammer. To the back. Got him. In this cabal stretch. Has to escape, and he does. Separates the fingers. Hip toss again. Jason Jordan. This is all or nothing. This is your opportunity. Don't let it slip. Like that Eminem song or whatever. <laughs> Water wheel in the corner. Jason Jordan doesn't have a victory, but he, he can do it. I, I believe anybody with two hands can win a match here, you know? Anything can happen in the world of wrestling, and we, we've seen the unexpected before, but it's not going to be easy, and Kratos is going to make it even more difficult for him. Look at that backbreaker just snapping Jason Jordan in half. The power of the god, Kratos. The god of war showing his wrath right there with a takedown and a kick to the side. Elbow, and a stomp to the back of the leg. Hip toss again, Jason Jordan does this, and it, it's worked. Taking him while he's down, good move there. Uh-oh, couple of punches though, and Kratos right back into the match. Kratos wants a title shot as well. He's not gonna show no mercy. He's going to defeat you, and then you're going home without a job. And Kratos is known for slaying gods. Brass knocks. Hit him with the brass knocks. Is that how Jason Jordan's career ends? No, his foot was on the rope. Holy cow, the ring positioning there for a lifeline. Would you like to call a friend? Because this is your million dollar opportunity. Up top, Kratos is going to fly, hits the back elbow, and a pair of knees to the face of Jason Jordan, and Jason Jordan, whoa, wait a minute, nice, belly to back, using those technical wrestling skills with the drop to hold, but ran into a knee by Kratos, who kicks him again while he's down, cover, one, Two! And no! Jason Jordan still employed here in the undercard. This is our main event. And a lifting suplex there by Kratos. Gut wrench style again back to back. Knee to the gut. Kratos trying to end the career of Jason Jordan right now. And will face... Iron Man, the winner faces Iron Man for the title next week. Uh-oh, Brass Knucks again! Where is he, what is he doing? Why is he hiding those? He, I don't know if there's disqualification. I don't even know if he needs to hide those. The foot on the ropes again! Jason Jordan being saved by the ring positioning. And that, I think, has been Kratos' biggest weakness in this season, is he just doesn't understand where the ropes are! Where is he? Oh, my God! What a splash on the outside! And Kratos laying on the punishment. Pain, wrath, and fury with the hands. There's not going to be a count out. But I would suggest they get back in the ring if they want to continue the match. Huge final elbow! Kratos with a big signature move. Jason Jordan in trouble here. 
fighting Kratos inside of the ring is hard enough. Imagine fighting him outside of the ring. What are you doing? He's in a guillotine hold here. Doesn't matter if you tap out. Submissions don't count outside of the ring. Oh, Rainmaker. And he's got a sledgehammer to the spine of Jason Jordan. No disqualification. This is how Jason Jordan's going to go down. Fighting with every last breath in his body. Elbow. Get away from those ropes. Choke slam. Kratos up top. What a match! Diving elbow right to the chin. And a knee drop. Jason Jordan hits a drop kick. Jason Jordan not giving up. He's adamant. Backbreaker. Oh boy, no ropes in sight, and it's over! Jason Jordan's career is done at the hands of Kratos. It was one hell of a fight, though. Uh, hey, hey, he did everything he could. And it just still wasn't enough. Kratos automatically now. Number one contender will face Iron Man next week. Or the undercard championship. What a show. What an absolute barn burner we had here today let me just do a quick little recap if you missed the show uh we had nation of domination lose to lug so lug finally got their first victory here in episode 10 and they really needed it Shawn michaels first person to ever defeat leatherface with that sweet chin music he tuned up the band and he kicked him right in the mouth and now that means that D-Generation X will face Team Halloween next week for the titles. All the titles on the line next week. You're not going to want to miss it. Pac defeated Captain Planet. China with an overpowering decision. Just complete domination by China. Defeated Vicky Guerrero. Shinsuke Nakamura very offensive against Umaga. Defeated him. Jade beat Supergirl. Jade will now face Chris Cyborg for the Women's Championship next week. And in our main event, Kratos defeated Jason Jordan. Kratos will face Iron Man next week. And, of course, now we will fire Jason Jordan. It's happened before, and history repeats itself. He had no chance of winning the title, so why are you even here? Where is he? Jason Jordan. Are you sure you want to release Jason? Goodbye. Walking off into the sunset. But I would say... It wasn't a complete disaster. He had he had a great match. He didn't win it. But it was still pretty damn good. It was a good fight that he put up. And now we save the game and we wrap up the show. It was a fun stream as always. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all that were here to watch it. The undercard happens every Monday at noon Eastern. So tune in next week to see a pay-per-view quality show. All the titles on the line. D-Generation X versus Team Halloween. Jade versus Chris Cyborg. And Iron Man versus Kratos. All those matches sound really good. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be absolutely crazy. And hey, happy birthday to my mom.